All right, so before I start, if you guys think the setup is beautiful, drop a like on this video. It really, really helps me out. What is going on, guys? So the other day, I was thinking, okay, now the iPad has mouse support. I can connect it to my monitor. Why, why not? Why can't I make an iPad Pro setup specifically focused on iPad OS? And that's exactly what I did. I removed my iMac from my setup and I've officially been using this setup for the past week. And it's surprisingly, yes, it's surprisingly really good. So before I start telling you what I like and what I don't like about this setup, let me tell you what is actually on the setup. Starting everything off with the keyboard, I've got the Magic Keyboard from Apple because first off, it's comfortable to type on and the design is just absolutely beautiful. It's actually one of my favorite keyboards ever. I've tried out a couple. People have recommended me keyboards, but aesthetically and functionally, the Magic Keyboard is always my go-to. Then the mouse because the mouse was a problem. I first wanted to connect my Magic Mouse to my iPad setup, but it wouldn't work. The Magic Mouse wouldn't connect to my iPad Pro. Let me know in the comments down below if that's a thing. To be honest, I haven't really researched a lot about it. So then I, it, it basically just didn't work. So then I went on Amazon and I typed in cheap wireless mouse because to be honest, I didn't really want the most expensive mouse because I was just, I just wanted to try out mouse support on the iPad, which works absolutely great. We're going to talk about that in just a second. So then this guy popped up the JE tech mouse. It's actually pretty amazing. It's clicky. It's got Bluetooth 3.0. The battery lasts up to six months. It's got rubberized sized and the best of all, it's cheap. It's like really cheap. Like, 10 bucks cheap. I honestly didn't think I was gonna like this mouse that much. So if you guys are looking to purchase a cheap mouse to try out mouse support on the iPad, I definitely recommend this one. This is not sponsored, I swear. Um, I, I was just honestly really impressed with it because it's just 10 bucks. Check it out, links in the description. So what else is in my iPad OS setup? Of course, we need to have a Funko Pop in the desk and in honor of Toy Story 4 being premiered this week, an alien from Toy Story Pop. Greetings. Literally. If you have a desk setup, you need to buy a Funko Pop. You can literally find anything. If you like Game of Thrones, Star Wars, Marvel, Disney, Michael Jackson, literally all the Funko Pops that you can think of, there's probably a figure for that. So, I mean, I wish I would. I, w I wish I was sponsored by Funko. Honestly, Funko, if you're watching this, can I please be sponsored? I'm literally an addict. A Funko Addict, is that a word? I've showed you my desk light before in other videos. The light is from Aki, I love the design. It's got a couple lighting modes and it's also got different intensities. No, it's not home kit, it, it doesn't have anything fancy, but it's pretty cool. It really helps set the mood and it comes at an incredible price. And then where all the magic happens is from the monitor from BenQ. Let me read off the name because it's a, it's a long name. It's a designer monitor from BenQ. It's got 27 inch 4K UHD display P3 PD272 you, zero, you, you don't have to understand that name. Just click in the description if you guys are interested. It's an amazing monitor. It's got Thunderbolt slash USB-C, so you don't really need to put a dongle on your iPad to connect your iPad. Just with one cable, you'll be able to connect your iPad or of course your MacBook or your iMac like I've done in the past. And yeah, as I said with that really long name, it's 4K HDR. So anything that you do with this iPad, it will look absolutely beautiful. Whether you're playing games, playing movies, playing movies, what am I saying? And then I've got a gaming controller because now in iPadOS, as you guys know, you can now connect your PS4 controller and your Xbox controller. This is amazing for any of you guys that play games on your iPad. This is literally, can we do it? Can we do it? If you want to be honest, I actually prefer the SteelSeries controller than my PS4 controller. I know maybe the PS4 controller is better, but I love the design of this guy and I've actually gotten used to playing with this guy for such a long time that I've just grown up with it. I just. We are inseparable. All right, so enough with the accessories, enough of the products. Is this setup actually usable? And surprisingly, my answer is yes. Like, not yes, like yes. Now, I wouldn't say yes if my iPad did not have iPad OS because mouse support on the iPad is what makes this setup actually amazing. Mouse support is just what makes everything so special. It makes tasks such as writing essays actually usable. I actually finished off an essay from uni, a retake that I had to do with my iPad Pro and my mouse and this monitor. I actually went to the cafe. I brought my iPad and not my monitor, just my iPad and my mouse and it worked great. And then I finished it off at home with the monitor. It was honestly a really good experience. Like I wouldn't have been able to do it without the mouse, of course, because it would have been just kind of pointless to, you know, write and then use the iPad and the monitor without the, without the mouse. But yeah, I just leave the iPad to the side and I just look at the monitor and the mouse and the keyboard 
it's a pretty freaking good experience. The only big downside to this setup are the actual bezels. I don't really know what to call them. Bezels, like the actual black bars that you can see on the right and on the left side of the display. Sadly, our iPads with iPadOS can't adjust to different screens, to different monitors, which is kind of sad. Hopefully, Apple will add it in a future update. Um, I mean, if Apple really wants our iPads to replace our laptops to our MacBooks, I don't think, you know, having black bars is kind of nice. Apple, please fix it. I guess you get used to the stupid black bars. Also, whenever you're playing movies, whenever you're playing video, the actual black bars disappear and the whole screen is covered by video, which is great. So I guess you get full screen view on movies. And yeah, I mean, watching movies, watching content is actually quite amazing. I've got so many films on my iPad and to be able to watch them on this kind of setup is really, really awesome. Like, I would never really watch movies on my iMac, but in this setup, like, since I have them on the uh, TV app or in Netflix, like, it's super easy. Like, iOS slash iPadOS, I guess now, it's super easy to pull up content. With the iMac, I guess it's kind of the same thing, but in my opinion, watching content with, like, iPadOS, with iOS, it's just so much faster, and, I, and as I said, I have so many films inside my videos. App. Now with iPadOS, the file management has gotten so much better, which means that it makes video editing so much better now. Um, you've also got full desktop Safari. You've also got a downloads tab on Safari. So literally like those three features that I said that I just said are what actually makes editing on the iPad actually usable because if you want to download a song, a copyright free song from YouTube, you can simply download it, which is amazing. Um, you've got full desktop Safari. So if you want to look up something up, um, I mean, it's just amazing. Honestly, those three things honestly blow my mind. You, can, can we blow our minds again? You do it in front of the computer too. All right, ready? Three, two, one. I mean, it's just great content creators such as Travis. If you guys aren't subscribed to Travis, what are you doing? Go ahead, links in the description. He edits all, absolutely all of his videos on the iPad Pro with LumaFusion. I mean, come on, can we please give a round of applause to Travis for doing everything, editing all his videos on his channel on his iPad Pro with LumaFusion? <laughs> come on, I'm too over that, come on. Travis, you're a freaking beast. No, but really content creators such as Travis, Travis, if you're watching this, you should definitely consider doing something like what I did. I'm sure you'd love it. Let's be real for a second. After a day full of work, after editing, after photos, after editing photos, homework, projects, school stuff, uni work, writing articles and stuff, who does not want to play some, some games on this monitor, on this iPad? I know I want to because now, as I said before, with iPad OS, you can now connect your PS4 controller and your Xbox controller. If you guys haven't done that, and if you like playing games, I don't know what you're waiting for because it's honestly amazing. As I said before, also, I prefer the SteelSeries controller because I, I've gotten used to it. I've played too much this week. I've downloaded a couple of games that I actually never installed before on my iPad and it's so much fun. I'll link the games that, I, that I've actually been playing um, down below. It's so much fun, honestly. So concluding the video, do I recommend this setup? Do I recommend for you guys to do an iPad Pro setup like this one? And my answer is definitely yes. If you do a lot of stuff on your iPad, you're really going to like this. If you play games on your iPad, you're going to love this. If you edit video on your iPad, this is a must have. If you edit photos, music production, anything, homework. I mean, if you have an iPad, get it a monitor, honestly, and you're going to love um, doing all your homework on the iPad with a big screen. So yes, my answer is definitely yes. I love this thing. I honestly didn't think I was gonna like it this much. So yeah, by the way guys, I'm actually leaving to Bali tomorrow for two weeks and a half. So I'm gonna try and upload as much as content while I'm there, I know I'm doing a vlog. I'm actually doing a Q&A, so ask me questions down below and I'll make sure to answer them in a video. Um, I'm actually gonna be with my family, so if you guys wanna ask my mom or my uncle or my cousins, my little cousins something, make sure to drop a comment down below and I'll make sure to answer them. And yeah, hopefully I'll have a good trip, hopefully and I'll make sure to vlog and let me know video ideas that you guys want me to do in Bali, just travel ideas or anything in particular, anything, maybe finding tech in Bali, anything. Let me know. Okay, that's it, see you.